in understanding the dark history of Canada and recognizing the fact that we need to forge a new way forward. This bit of land on the north shore of Lake Ontario has hosted many peoples and nations over, over the years. The Huron, the Wendat, the Patoon, the Six Nations of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, most recently the Mississauga and the Anishinaabe people. For as long as people have been on this land, it has been a meeting point for society. The city we now know as Toronto lies in an area covered by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant. It's an agreement between the Haudenosaunee, the Ojibwe, and other nations to peacefully share and steward the lands founded by the Great Lakes. I encourage all of you, when you go home today, you go to your schools on Monday, you do whatever, to learn about the history of the people and of the land. It is a fundamental part of Canadian history. It is not the history of their fields. The British want the 250,000 acres of land to fill Toronto. Do you know what they paid for that? Do you know what they paid for 250,000 acres of land? They paid, they paid for the stack of gut flits, a bale of flannel, 100 gallons of rum, and a few dozen brass kettles, mirrors, 